Hi all of you, this is Gil. So on this video, I'm gonna show you how I actually transfer mini DV tapes onto the computer. First of all, before I do this, it's two things that we gotta have in order to be able to do this. Number one thing we need to have, it, it's a computer that has a Firewire hookup and Windows Vista or a program that will work with it. So that's number one thing we need to have. The other thing we need to have is we need to have a this special cable, Firewire cable. So yeah, I mean, on this computer, it has it. This is a, the old computer that has like the old to connections. So yeah, I mean, this is from the middle 2000s. Okay, now that we have these two things that we need, basically just a computer with Windows Vista or XP even with, with a FireWire hookup, with a FireWire um, hookup or, or a computer that can work with one of those. And... And then, and a, and a cable, the Firewire cable. So the way, I'm gonna show you how I actually do it. So the way we do it, with these camcorders, this is another mini TV I have. <clears throat> they all have Firewire hookups. They all have them. So, I mean, what we do, we turn on the camcorder to playback mode. And then we hook up these wires, one to the computer and one to the camcorder, which I'm going to do right now. So, yeah. So, yeah. I dropped my phone. <coughs> Well, anyway, it's hooked up there. And now this shows up on the screen. So for me, I want to import the video. <coughs> right here, I could name it. I can name the file if I want to. Well, in this case, well, I was recording videos on this camcorder already, so... I'll just say July 23rd, which was my mom's birthday. <coughs> so. Anyways, and then I go to next. And then right now, for right now, I mean, I would have a choice to import the entire tape. And then, and then we're, from here, we could, we could do all the controls on the camcorder from the computer at this point. And then you had, you had the option to burn it to a DVD back in the day. Because it, it was a popular thing to do back then, you know. But in this case, for this case, I want to import only parts of the tape. So I have it right here. At this point, you know, like from this point. <clears throat> that's when I could control the camcorder using this, a computer. Yeah, using the computer in this case, like there's a video right there, you can see that. Well, I'm gonna rewind it a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna rewind it. And then I'm gonna play the tape. <clears throat> play, I'm gonna preview it. And then you can see it, see that? <clears throat> so you could control the camcorder at this point through the computer. See, at this point, you know, we that's what we call digitalizing it. It's like digital. I mean, they call it a digital cam. Yeah. And then over here, so I want to I want to rewind it to a certain point. <clears throat> Until so I could record, so I could start recording. I want to rewind it to the point where I was recording my mom's birthday with this camcorder. So, so this is about the point where I mean, 
We were walking to the mobile home yesterday to go to my mom's house. Well, which used to be my place. Yeah, so anyways. So I was going into my mom's house. There's a mobile home. <laughs> I'm gonna be playing, I'm gonna be showing, I'm gonna be sharing you guys this video, so. Anyway, now, now that I reached the point that I want to uh, start and I'm importing the video onto the computer, I go start, I start right here. I press start video import and then the, the camcorder will start playing the tape automatically and then it's going to start transferring it onto the computer now at this point. And let's say that I'm done. <clears throat> let's say that I'm done transferring the videos and so I want to stop video import if I'm done getting everything I could use this to I mean and then and then when I'm done I press this and then it's going to save the video onto the computer as you see it and then it titled it as such and then now I'm going to play the video on the computer and it plays it through the media player and there you go that's just an example. Yeah, so. Now, that was that. I mean, that was that example. So, I just did that on this. And that's transferring a mini TV. But you guys might ask me, how do I transfer an 8mm or a VHS? Well, apparently this camcorder has a feature where we, we could convert analog videos into digital. It has a feature, but not, not all mini DV camcorders have that though. Have the ability to do that. Because you would have to have a mini DV camcorder that that has the ability to to um to convert odd uh analog videos so let me see i just want to try something else but uh, on the menu on this camcorder anyway the one that i just bought for 20 bucks on this camcorder <clears throat> the menu button right here you have to use this menu, like this menu button, and then the scroll wheel right here. Actually, I wonder if I could, um, I think I could do that right here. Yeah. See this scroll on this camcorder? This is what we do. So, to, to be able to set it up to record analog videos. So, it's hard to see with this phone here. So, right here. We go to VCR setup on um, this VCR setup. I think it's right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. Well, I'm just gonna hang on. I'm gonna go back for the Canon Allura 80. Go to VCR setup. And we, we gotta be sure we're on tape mode. Tape mode on this camcorder. And then right here, if this is where we um, turn turn on the ability to um, to transfer um, analog videos to TV. And then and then we need the RCA cables. Could, and I'll show you an example right now. <clears throat> so this is the example I'm gonna show you on how how the, the how I could transfer the analog stuff onto a digital. While I'm doing it like with, in this way, this is one of the ways I do transfer videos onto the computer, and I I use this camcorder to transfer or to um to convert the analog videos to a digital and so right here as you see it I have it set up so it'll, it'll, it could convert the analog and right now I have the VCR hooked up so you have these RCA on the outputs right here the out line out and then I have the other end over here to the inputs over here as you see it 
this is it. This is actually an output to play this camcorder on a TV, but this is an input now. Now that I have it set up like that. So it's going from the VCR to here. So now I'm going to be able to play a videotape through there so you can see it now. So, so you can see it now. So menu. And then the volume. Here yeah, is the volume. So and now I'm, I could see the analog tape through the VCR onto the camcorder. And then from here, I can actually start recording. As you can see it. Wait a minute. Let's see. Oh, no, that's I actually have to remove the cassette for that. Gonna make sure that I don't have any cassettes in there. And then from here, I can start. I could record this now. See, I'm recording. I'm recording the from the videotape on to the computer now that's how i do it that's how i'm currently doing it but but i was using the Rexio um dvd vhs to dvd transfer software which which works good too i mean but the dongle broke on that one so i have to use this way so and that's it and then i'm gonna finish this now i'm done with that I want to see how. Well, this VCR, I bought it for 10 bucks at a Goodwill store. I bought it for 10 bucks the other day. And I'll show you the, yeah, the Goodwill store, yeah. I was sharing this the other day. I guess I bought it on July 2nd. <laughs> okay, here's the, here's the example. Now it's digitalized. Now... I'm gonna reject the cassette. <clears throat> See, I I recorded like say I recorded this tape onto the computer. So now I'm gonna play it on the computer now. So actually, that's when I made a little mistake. <laughs> okay, this is the tape now. This is the VHS here. So if I had a bunch of VHSs. VHS home videos to transfer this is how I would do it I mean this is how I do it so yeah I mean but for if I'm gonna transfer a mini DV then I just go directly from the camcorder I mean but if it's an analog if it's an analog video then I can use the the feature that this camcorder has that can convert analog videos to digital this camcorder has that ability to do that, but not not all eight, not all mini DVs have that ability to do that. I mean, to turn to convert analog to digital, you have to buy a mini DV that has the ability to do that. And I'm not really sure which ones, but I always stick with this camcorder because it's a, it's one camera that I, I can guarantee that I know is going to have that ability to do that. And we get there by um, using the menu button and then on play on the tape mode. Got to make sure it's on the tape mode, playback mode, and then it has to be on playback mode. And then, um, then VCR setup. And then, again, mini, I could turn it off now. See, now, now this would actually be an output. The AV, this switch would now be an output, like to view this on a TV. But when we, um, turn, turn on the analog to digital, uh, converter, then this one becomes an input instead. So yeah. So I'm gonna go over what I what we do on this camcorder. Allura 80. We um first of all we um <clears throat> plug in uh, I'm gonna go from the steps from step one all I'm gonna repeat all the steps again. So Anyways, I'm gonna repeat everything. So first thing you do, like you, you, you wanna transfer analog videos, 
using this camcorder, first thing you do, you turn on the computer and let the windows get ready. You put it on playback mode. Oh no, that's camera mode. You gotta go on the playback mode. Playback mode. <clears throat> and then, and then you hook up all these things. You hook up all these. The fire wire hookup to the computer and then the other end to the camcorder. This shows up. Yeah, well, the screen that shows up. I, I always use import video. And then I can put in a name, type in a name, and then go to next. And then I, I, always, I always like to use this part of the video to the computer. Because I use that if I'm going to transfer analog videos. I mean, that's the only way you could do it. You know, like if you want to record, if you want to convert analog signals to digital, this is what you have to use. You have, this is the only option in order to be able to do that. So you go next, and then it'll take you to this screen right there. But, but on this case, you got to have your VCR ready and your outputs ready. And then you plug this into here. The inputs now. Now the VCR is ready to go, and then and then on the camcorder before you can start, you go on to onto the menu section, and then you have to tell the camcorder that you want to transfer, you want to convert the analog signals. So in this case, I go to AVDV on. I turn that on. And return and then and then now it's converting it's converting the analog videos to digital so right now the camcorder sees sees it now and then on the computer I'm able to start the uh, let's do another demo again so start the video import so yeah Yeah, so, and then, and then let's say I'm done. I'm gonna stop it from here. Sometimes, you know, we wanna like, we, we wanna record some parts of the video and we wanna skip another part of the video. So we use this to stop it. And let's say I, I'm skipping this scene right here for like, like say a minute or so. And then I wanna go ahead and record after the scene is over or something. Let's say I wanted to start recording from here again after the, then I start again, then it'll record. And then it's gonna skip the scene that I, that I stopped the video import on. And, and then after that, and then when I'm done, when the tape is done or something, then I could press finish. And that's another demo and then and then it finished it so now i'm gonna demo that play now and then i don't know where are the well i know i know there's a cut scene over here because i stopped the video import you know this is, this is the jesus movie but i'm not sure where i'm well anyway i mean well and that's how it works. So I hope. All right. Well, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. So yeah, I mean, there you go. I hope you liked this video. And and I currently, like I said, this is how I transfer the my videos onto the computer. But like I say, I mean, if it's a mini DV, it's simple. I mean, I don't, I just plug in the, the camcorder to the computer and then it goes from here. It goes from here. And then, but if I want to transfer a VCR to the camcorder, then I have to, to set it up in here and then, then I have to have a separate VCR and all that stuff. So, but I mean, so that's it. I hope you liked this video. All right.